I'd like to hollow point that ass, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Double Watch Josh coming at you guys today with my last ammo haul of 2017 and the last one from Walmart for a while now. I've got some bad news, but then I got some good news. Today, I woke up, did some stuff I had to do. I know I'm sounding kind of shady by not giving details, but I just don't live all that much of a boring life. Pretty much I just had to go and mail in an application for a state certification exam. I, anyway, after I got done with everything I had to do, I went to the uh, first Walmart, which is the closest to me. Man, that's where the bad news started. I'll uh, see if I can insert a picture right about now. And I'll let you guys see that, you know, the what the shelves are just gone, completely wiped out. And I talked to one of the employees real quick and she said uh, they sent it all to another location. Uh, yeah, I didn't really press her for details. I'm not really one of those kind of guys that starts like harassing the people working there. I just take their word for it and just uh, move on. So yeah, the first place I went to, shelves were completely empty, gone, bare bones, nothing. So of course, just left. And then I went to the next Walmart, which is a little bit further away. And when I got in there, it was like about half of everything was gone. Uh, there was still some, a few things, but the overwhelming majority of it was gone. I'll go ahead and insert it as well. But It said, quote, our apologies due to administrative delays by the state of California, we are temporarily unable to sell ammunition. We expect the state will have this issue resolved soon. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please check back soon. Thank you. Begins January 1st, 2018. They were still selling ammo at that location but there just wasn't a whole lot to choose from, you know? And again, they just had the random calibers or of course they have like 45 auto, the more expensive stuff. You know, they still had 12 gauge surprisingly, but nothing like, none of the good stuff like uh, slugs or double op buck or yeah, anything like that it was more of like four shot, five shot, uh, six shot. Those um, 20 round, or I'm sorry, the uh, 100 round value packs, those were completely gone. So I decided to make the best of a bad situation and just grab what 12 gauge shotguns, you know, I kind of kind of thought might come in handy or later or kind of want to check into. I'm not a big shotgun shooter. I know I keep saying that, so I don't really know too much about 12 gauge or shotguns in, in general. I know they're a good home defense tool, also good for hunting. Um, you know, they for 12 gauge has a lot of recoil, things like that. I know the basics, but I'm planning on getting into it a little bit later on. Uh, so here's the first one. So as you can see, 12 gauge, of course, uh, two and three quarter inch, uh, number six shot. So we got that one. And then we have the five shot, same thing, 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch. Then, whoa, this one almost busted open. Yeah, it looks like they're all in there. Okay, again, 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, four shot. And lastly, we're gonna have, I found the last box of this. So this is uh, Steel Game and Target, uh, 12 gauge as well, number six shot. Last box in there, so I decided to go ahead and snag it. So let me go over some prices real quick. So for the one I have in my hand right now, uh, they wanted $7.44. And then for all three of these, you know, the four, five, and six shots, they wanted uh, 12 26 per each one. So, yeah, you know, still pretty decent uh, prices for 12 gauge. Who knows what's going to happen next year. So, you know, this is uh, next year, you know, tomorrow, today's December 31st, tomorrow, you can't get your ammo from Walmart. And what I heard was they don't have their ammo vendor's license yet. And I heard, you know, they'll be getting it within the next three or four months. But again, that's an estimate. Who knows what's going to happen? Anyway, so uh, these were the only four, four boxes I got from that next location. Then I went to a third Walmart, which was the furthest away from me, uh, just to see like what's going on up there. And actually, I'm really glad I did that because let's go ahead and start going through everything. Boom. I can't believe I got this, but... Uh, well, not this one, but you'll see what I mean. I got some really good stuff on this haul. Uh, some more 12 gauge. Uh, this one's three inch, number two shot. 
and I actually, they had a lot more boxes of this, but I decided, eh, let's just get two boxes, I don't know. So again, number two shot, 12 gauge, and you know what, let me get uh, let me get the numbers on these two for you real quick. So it was $10.72 per each box, and then uh, here's the last box out of here. I got some uh, 12 gauge, double hot buck, um, two and three quarter inch. I know uh, I I know Federal does two and three quarter inch and three inch. For home defense, I'm a big fan of going for two and three quarter inch, just in case you can get an extra shell inside of your uh, shotgun tube. But anyway, so I got one of these, and then we got actually for more than one. I don't know why I say stupid stuff sometimes, but. Uh, they only had five boxes, so you know what? Because of what's going on, I just decided, ah, eh, let's just snag them, grab them. All right, so I got five boxes of the 12 gauge double lot buck, two and three quarter inch. And then this is when I'm really happy I got right over here Federal Premium Low, low Recoil uh, box of 20, um, nine millimeter. Uh, 135 grain Hydroshock J JHP jacketed hollow points, high quality, quality, quality stuff. And you know, I, I, I understand when it can, when people watch these videos and they're just like, oh, dude, you're wiping out all the ammo. I totally get where they're coming from, but we're having a crisis right now in California, in my opinion, as far as the Second Amendment goes. This is, I don't, I have no idea what's going to happen next year. I'm not freaking out or anything. I'm pretty well prepared, pretty stocked up. But for people out there who are saying, oh, dude, you're just like courting and you're, you know, you're taken away from other people. It's like, no, in my opinion, it's first come, first serve. And we've all seen this coming for over a year now. You've had plenty of time to get prepared for it. And uh, yeah, you know, sometimes life's just not fair. Anyway, so they had uh, two, three, four, five, six boxes of it. And so, you know, and it's all the same. They also had 150 grain. It was a little bit more expensive and I don't really see the point of like stepping it up from 135 up to 150. I think 135 is just fine. So for each box, they wanted $19.97. So about 20 bucks per box, which translates into about a dollar per each cartridge. And then I forgot if I mentioned, but for these 12 gauge that I bought, they wanted uh, $13 and 47 cents, um, which isn't really too bad. A little bit less than a dollar each. All right, guys, I know it's tough right now in California, but hold your head up, stay strong, and uh, let's hope for a better future. All right, guys, thanks for watching, subscribing, and expect some more videos from me coming up here. All right, later. I'd like to... I'll appoint that ass, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs>